Okay, I do judo because I want to be Olympic and world champion. To begin with, I've done judo to compete and enjoy the sport and to try and win. So to begin with, it was only about trying to become European, world or Olympic champion. But then, now, I do judo because of what it gives me. What it gives me in terms of the feedback I get from kids, the feedback I get from adults, and it gives me a great sense of uh, belonging. That's why I do judo. I do judo because it's something I really, really enjoy. And I found from a young age that as soon as I went to my first judo session, I just loved it. So I kept with it. And I think because I enjoyed it so much, I wanted to get better. And then I started going to all like different competitions and training camps and met loads of friends. And it really brought me out of my comfort shell, I think, and gave me a bit more confidence. So I think that's why I love it so much. I do, I do judo because I started when I was four. Um, I can't really remember not doing judo. Um, I've just always enjoyed it. I like the feeling of throwing someone. I like how it makes me feel on the mat. It's rather my whole life has been judo rather than making a decision to do it. I can't remember not doing it. My father um, is a judo coach and I went with him to training camp or competition and when I stay near the, the mat and not on the mat it's very long time. So one time I say, okay, it's too long for me. Now I want to go on the mat to practice and to do judo. My brother started first and I sort of went along. Mum and dad wanted to introduce me to a good sport and I uh, just ended up getting roped into it and I'd done more and more of it as the years went by and I eventually became one of my favorite things to do. I think I do judo because I'm someone who has a lot of energy and it's a great way, I find, to just go and take everything out on the mat. Um, I've done judo since I was four years old and it's a big part of my family life. So with my dad uh, and my brother, we used to do it growing up and then I've just carried it on and I just love it, love fighting people. When I started judo when I was nine, some of the boys in my class at school did judo and they just said, Sarah, why don't you come along to judo? So literally I went along for the first session and I was hooked. And then now, 32 years later maybe, um, I'm still doing judo because I teach a lot of children, I teach young people um, and I've been involved in judo my whole life. It makes me feel strong. I go to an all-girls school and it makes me feel like I can not be generalised and have actually the power to throw someone. It makes me feel quite powerful. You know, I also want to become a black belt so I can be to people like, I'm a black belt <laughs> and they're like, whoa! Yeah, I've wanted to quit loads of times. Um, every time probably I've been beaten at a competition, thrown in front of everyone I train with. You just, you like, you want to curl up in a ball and never be seen again. I didn't because if you quit, then you're never going to beat that person who beat you. There was people who I fought like 10 times, being beaten by every single time, and then that one time you beat them, it's the, it's the pinnacle. I think I wanted to quit when I was younger, um, just at the point where you can compete and it's all the pressure's on you, um, compared to like if you're in a team sport. Um, but I didn't quit. Um, persevered, stuck with it because I enjoyed, enjoyed the training, I enjoyed meeting my friends um, and although I've had breaks I still really enjoy coming and being part of it. I quit all the time. Um, almost every almost every day. I go through periods of not wanting to quit but quite a lot of the time I want to quit like every day. I've got like my long term goal just to like perform, have a good career, do as far as I can, Commonwealths, uh, Olympics, whatever, um, and that's kind of my ultimate goal, so and I've got a chance of achieving something that I wanted to do since I was four, so I kind of owe it to myself to try to my best ability to like, achieve my dream, because not everyone gets to even gets a chance to pursue what they want to achieve, um, so I think if I take like a wee bit of time off, or like ground myself a wee bit, then when I come back to training, I'm like, okay, yeah, now I know why I'm training, rather than just like thinking about all the negatives about training. When I went to judo, the classes weren't quite as much fun as they are these days, and it was much more 
wide age group so you'd have like me plus like bigger boys and stuff and I used to quit judo with Billy so I pretty much quit judo because if he went to judo then I got to stay at home and do what I liked whereas if I went to judo with him then I'd get beat up there so it would make more sense for me to stay home <laughs> and I didn't really like the fighting and the rolling around it wasn't for me so that's why I quit. I have never wanted to quit it's never even entered my mind to quit because sport or cubs or anything you start my dad always said to me when you start something think long and hard before you start it because when you start it you're never giving it up until something else took over so I never gave up football I just done more judo I never gave up cubs I just eventually done more judo so it was only ever to do something else so I never wanted to quit and it's never even entered my head it becomes what I do it. When I was playing football uh, a lot I used to be a lot more into football than I, than I was judo and I didn't like getting getting hurt when I was very small but then after I um, you know, I, I learned how to fall properly. I started enjoying judo a lot more, and then sort of the balance switched. Went from football to judo, and I uh, am not really looking back. It was a pretty good decision. I never wanted to quit because hmm, there's times when you feel really down or it's really difficult. But I would never say I wanted to quit because I don't really think like that come so close to quitting like so many times but I guess it feels weird if you don't go so like even if it does feel like you're 100% quitting you're never really going to at the start it was my parents keeping me coming back but then it was just kind of like a bit like homesickness if you get what I mean I've never really wanted to quit judo but there's been times when I was competing internationally that I've really thought like what what am I doing like why am I here because it's been really difficult or maybe the results haven't come along that either I felt I'd worked really hard for or I just wasn't good enough and I think um, the reason I probably didn't quit is because my coach because Billy was always there to push me through or to say look if you don't try you'll never know so really push myself to the absolute limit so then when I retired from competing that I knew that I'd given it my absolute best. Judo makes me feel really happy and not only um, judo as the sport but just with the people I'm surrounded by day in day out and I'm really happy with judo because it's made me, I feel like the person I am today in terms of my confidence, in my social side, my strength, my speed, my agility and everything. It's given me so much that I think it's not only what judo is but it's what it brings with it as well. I guess just depending on how the day's been. If, uh, if I've had a good session, if I've had a bad session, that will change my mood towards judo at the end of the night type thing. So if I've had a good session, I love it, I feel amazing. If I feel like I've had a bad session or something's not worked right, then I go home cursing and I'm not happy with how judo's going. Or even something as silly as watching a judo video. Sometimes it just gives me that little bit of motivation or something to try and get back and really want to do judo again, so. Wacky. I'm tired, but it gives me the biggest buzz more than anything else that I've ever done or do. Great after a session, it's like, whoa, I just got beat up, but you know what, I'm alive and also I feel pain. <laughs> like, I'm unique and I'm like not like anyone else. As an adult, uh, 32 years old, the experience I get from judo is one that's quite, um, it grounds me, it brings me right back to what's important and brings me into a sort of in the moment feel, but it certainly does and I leave feeling enriched um, and I've forgotten a lot of the past of the day, so I feel fit and well in the head. Judo makes me feel really happy. Also really sad when I've lost because I've maybe tried to train and be the best that I could possibly be and then I've not won the tournaments that I expected myself to win. Um, so that was quite disappointing but in general when you do win it's such a good feeling and it just makes me want to keep doing it. Well, other than judo I am a student, I study design and so I would still be doing that anyway. But if I wasn't in judo, I would be in a different sport, which would probably be gymnastics or swimming. Um, 
because I've always been interested in them as well, but I've just loved martial arts that little bit more. Right now, I would probably still be working um, for Standard Life, which is where I worked before, for 15 years. And then I left, um, I had kids, and then Billy asked me to help out with his judo business. So I started just doing a couple hours a week, and now it's a full-time job. And I never went back to my old job. So. To be honest, that's a um, funny thing to think about. Um, it's a big part of my life, judo, so if I wasn't doing it, I really couldn't tell you what I'd be doing. But, um, yeah, it takes over most of what I do. If I wasn't doing judo, I think I'd still be doing something sporty or still be involved in a sport, maybe hockey or netball or something, maybe a team sport. And in a career-wise, maybe I love coffee, so maybe I'd own a coffee shop with, with like just lovely cakes and food. Um, that's what I think I'd probably do. So for me, that's quite a difficult one. Um, I didn't grow up in the nicest of places and my friends weren't the, the best of people at times. So I've got a few friends that have been involved in stuff that they probably shouldn't have. So for me, judo was kind of like a, a route out of the bad things that were happening in the areas I grew up in. Um, so it's really hard for me to judge where I would have been. Maybe I would have focused more on school and went to university and stuff and done something at university, but it could have also went completely the other way. And, could have ended up doing absolutely anything. I mean, could have been anywhere, in jail, something like that. Do you know what I mean? It could, have, it could have went either way for me, so judo was just sort of my middle ground that kept me good. So I've always had this quite a few different options my life could have taken. Most likely, I think I probably would have joined the military or something, I think. Um, so I was either going to go down that route. I had a couple of options at school. I was either, I was never really academic. I wasn't, don't think I ever would have went to uni. I went to uni because of judo. But I know myself, I don't think I would have wanted to go to uni. I don't think I would have studied really hard. I would have maybe got a trade at college, so it would have been a choice between having a trade, like a joiner or something like that, or going to the army, I think. I would be far. Honestly, I have no idea. I had started uni a couple of times. Quit a couple of times because I don't know what else I want to do. Everyone says that you should have something else lined up for once you finish judo, and I get that. But I don't think that you should line something up just for the sake of having a fallback plan because I know that doing judo is what I want to do. If along the way something comes along and I'm like, oh, actually, that interests me, then I would maybe look into doing something else which would then help me answer this question, which I don't have an answer to. Definitely, because it's somewhere where the kids can go and make new friends and feel welcome. All my children have come and, and felt the benefit of that and still do, or two out of three of them do. So yeah, the benefits are great in terms of socialising with others. Even if you don't want to be like a hardcore judo fighter, you can still come, do a bit of sport and fitness, enjoy yourself and see your friends. So, yes. It's not like school or anything, it's like something like home. Like you feel close with all the people which you like train with. Like you spend a lot of time together and it makes you feel like you you have to be comfortable with the people around you. So. The judo participate uh, for me to create family spirit with uh, with other players. First, the atmosphere of the club is very important. You you sweet with the other player. You go in competition with other player. So you you pass a lot of time with them in the training center. Um, I live uh, twenty hours and uh, maybe five or six days by week with the same people with my now they are my be best friend so yeah now it's it's like uh, my family i meet uh, my boyfriend maybe 10 years ago and we always we talk uh, sometime about judo sometime about other about the life the studies uh, everything so judo it's a good practice to create a, a family relation with other people, other players. The environment here at Juno is very much family-like, as I like to refer to it, uh, the Juno family. And everybody supports each other, and for me that's the most important thing. Well, before I came here I was in different clubs and the, they would try to create an environment that was like a family. 
um, but it's hard to do and it depends very much on the type of people you have here um, but Ella Medina seems to do it very well everybody becomes close very quickly and I found that I became close to everyone very quickly once I, once I started I'd say yes it has um, as a kid growing up it always gave me something that was positive in my life um, got me a great group of friends and that's continued throughout even though I've changed judo clubs as I've grown up a great bunch of people around, all different types of people that come as well and also now my kids do it um, and they love being here it's just like an, an extra added family uh, I would say definitely I see everyone here, everyone who trains here it's great to see the younger ones them growing up and <laughs> I mean some of them are on the training sessions that I do now and then the coaches as well um, have been with me since I was started at like 10 um, and I think it's great to be able to develop with the same person. Judo has certainly created a safe space. Uh, it's an environment where you can go and you learn a combat sport in the safest environment possible with the safest uh, book of rules or guidelines that make sure that nobody gets hurt. There is an ethos of respect and you can train physically quite hard. Outside of it, in the when in the community within the club, off the mat, that group of people are really safe and really helpful and really dedicated to making sure everybody else is safe. So, in a round encompassing way, it's the safest place I've ever been. I always wanted to be a member of a club that wanted me to have a, become a member when I played judo. And sometimes when I went to judo clubs when I was younger, I wasn't made so, so welcome, whether it's the way I spoke or where I came from. So I always wanted to create something like family, an extended family, where people, kids, no matter what background, no matter what money, no matter what creed, that they feel safe and feel secure that they are valuable members of the judo club, whether they're successful in competition or whether they add value to the class just as a, as a member of the class. So I always wanted to try and create that as an alternative to a club that's perhaps not as welcoming and not as... Um, family orientated, so that's exactly why. So the biggest piece of advice I'd give to someone who wants to quit is have a good think about it because later in life, 100%, you'll look back and regret quitting most of the things that you gave up. Um, so at the time you might think that it's boring or you want to do something a bit different. If you find something else to put in place, then fine, but if you're just quitting because for no other reason other than you're maybe lazy or can't be bothered, then really think about it because you will regret it when you grow up. So I guess my advice to somebody young wanting to quit would be really give it a good shot and I guess it depends whether you're talking about a young person that's only been a few weeks or a few months or competing and it's a wee bit of different advice all around. Make sure you find the class that's most suitable for you when you're doing judo whether you're five year old or, or 25 year old. Make sure that you make friends within judo because then I think that allows you to stay longer and keep it going. If you're a young person involved in judo, it's a really good thing to stay in because you can always keep going and do it at later in life as well. So whether you go off to college or uni or you go traveling. As an athlete wanting to quit, I think you've got to really stick at it until you've given it everything and only then do you know that it's not the, the right thing to do or it's time to. The best advice coming from someone who's experienced it, because anybody could say this, but stay the course. And if you learn to do it within such a tough thing like judo, um, a tough sport with a tough set of rules and hard discipline, if you can stay the course at something like that, that will manifest, that lesson that you've learned and you've managed will manifest itself into the rest of your life and make you really a strong fort up here and you can handle a lot of things that life throws at you for that reason. So staying the course is really the best motto, I would say, for anybody that wants to quit because I'm proof in the pudding that I've wanted to leave so many times and I haven't, and I'm now, in my own eyes, a really good success and a good um, ambassador for the sport. So. Don't quit. If you want to quit, you know what? You're a loser. Don't be a loser. Okay, I can't really say that. If you want to quit, just be like, why am I wanting to quit? And if it's more the fact that like, you're too scared 
I was scared. I'm like 16 and it literally, I'd done judo for 10 years and it's taken me seven years to let someone throw me on a mat. And judo's all about throwing and I've not let someone in seven years throw me and I'm still scared to this day. So don't be scared. People are different shapes and sizes, but it doesn't matter. If you really want to quit, realize why it is you want to quit and go into something that you feel would be like more better use of your time and don't like quit and just do nothing. Like make sure that you're productive in what you're doing and you really enjoy what you're doing. And even if you don't enjoy judo, like sometimes I hate judo, just persevere, push through it, because it will get better. Never quit. Um, it might hurt for five minutes, you might doubt yourself for five minutes, but you'll regret it after five years. Pain is only temporary, but the rewards you gain are for a lifetime. You hold, you carry them around with you. But if somebody told me right now they wanted to quit, I would say to them, wait five minutes. Um, get out your system, then have another think, and you'll probably change your mind. Especially if you already want to be here. And um, negative thoughts are only temporary. And um, it's the positive thoughts that you have to make stick. Okay, so I think me before when I was young, uh, uh, I would like to be a champion, good high level player. So it's my way. And other way, it's maybe um, exchange with the other player, learn and um, and coach. There are a lot of opportunity with the judo. You 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 can uh, progress uh, in with your physical quality with your technique quality in competition, with your relation, everything. So I think um, they are not just one way to be uh, a good player or to be um, happy in your life. So it's important to, to choose uh, what do you want and uh, to try to go uh, in this, uh, on this way. I think first of all, it's assessing your assessing your options first and making sure that 100% this is what you are definitely definitely set on type thing like for example it doesn't have to be that you quit completely it could be that you just quit competition side of things or it could be that you quit a specific class or something like that and there might be a different option for you but I think that the biggest thing is to make sure that you've got the whole picture of things instead of just going right I've had a bad day I'm quitting judo it's not working for me blah 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 if it's because, again, because you're focused on something else or because you've got another thing that you want to try, then that's fantastic. But make sure that there's that something there to think, something that's going to motivate you in life. But, again, I think just assessing the larger scale of things, that's the most important. And just don't, because I've quit so many things and I've come so close to quitting. And I've always been so glad that I've never quit judo because it's just always been like... You know, something constant for me and stuff, and it's good.